So why do we need spanning tree? Think about what happens to a layer 2 network when a broadcast is sent. The broadcast goes everywhere. What does that mean for a topology like this one? One switch will forward the broadcast to the other switches, and those switches will pass them on. Eventually, the traffic is looping around forever, and although it's not shown here, each connected device will get a copy of the broadcast frame every time it passes through that switch. Now that doesn't seem so bad with only three switches. But if we add just one more, you'll see that the messages aren't just looping, they're replicating. What we're seeing here is a broadcast storm. Any traffic that is flooded will cause this problem whether it's broadcast or not. On top of that, MAC table entries will continually be updated as they're receiving frames from different sources. Remember that a MAC can only be associated with a single port, the one it's learned on. So eventually, all the switch's resources will be consumed, and the network will cease to function. We try to limit broadcast traffic with VLANs, but the real problem here is that there is a loop, and there is no built-in solution to stop loops at layer 2. So this is where spanning tree comes in. Its purpose is to find places where there could be a loop and prevent it from forming in the first place. It does this by selecting one of the links in the loop and blocking it. This prevents frames from traveling around the network indefinitely. But spanning tree is also clever enough that it will never block too much. Devices will always be able to communicate. Frames can always be delivered no matter where the destination device is. The secondary part of spanning tree is to respond if there are problems or changes in the network. A link failure in this topology would leave one switch isolated with no way of reaching the rest of the network. So spanning tree will detect this change and adapt by enabling the link that it originally blocked. Here are a few quiz questions that you can get started with. There's going to be plenty of these throughout this video.